Welcome back to the Cooner Show on 570 WTNT. The last honest man in Washington. Islamic militants have struck at the capital of Moscow in downtown uh, downtown Moscow, right there in the su subway system. Two subway stations were hit. At least 38 Russians have been killed, 64 wounded. The death toll is climbing. It looks like it was done by two female suicide bombers, probably with links to Chechnya or the Caucasus from initial press accounts and from what my sources are telling me. My friends, do you think that this is now going to come to Washington or New York? That if they can strike in Moscow, if they can strike in London, if they can strike in Madrid, why can't they strike in Washington or New York? Two female suicide bombers strapped some bombs loaded with bolts and iron rods. They detonate themselves and kill everybody on board and cause massive damage and carnage. Do you feel safe under Barack Obama? I want to hear from you. 301-984-9570 is the number. Let's go to Steve from conservativemonster.com. Steve, welcome to the Cooner Show. Hi, Jeff. You know, uh, like you mentioned before, the Russians have been associated with uh, Islamic terrorism for at least the past 45 years. And it's something that the media, of course, they, they downplay or never even talk about uh, because it's part of the uh, deception that we're, we're seeing today. But, you know, I want to tell you about, there was a book written by Alexander Litvinenko. You remember the, the KGB agent that was poisoned in, um, yes. in England? Okay. Yes. He wrote a book called Blowing Up Russia. Now, in this book, Blowing Up Russia, he, he mentioned that uh, the KGB and the FSB at that time what was taking place, they were blowing up buildings in, in Moscow and blaming it on the Chechens as a reason to invade the uh, Chechnya. Now, uh, when this came out, it was a big scandal in Russia, and you know he escaped for his life, and uh, eventually they wound up catching up to him. Because uh, they know how it got, uh, actually, the, the plot got unfolded by somebody called the police, and the local police found the car, and they traced it to the KGB. Uh, it was uh, so that's how the KGB got caught in that little scam. Now, um, Litvinenko also mentioned that uh, uh, Ayman Zawahiri, the number two man in, in uh, Al Qaeda, he was uh, trained in, in Russia in 1998 by the FSB. Now, this would link uh, the FSB to uh, Al Qaeda through uh, Zawahiri. So this was something that the, they wanted to silence this man, and they, that's why I believe they poisoned him. Oh, I mean, uh, Steve, excellent point, and thank you for that call, buddy. Uh, that's my, I had some Russian dissidents tell me the exact same thing. I, sources, in fact, in the Kremlin confirmed to me that there's no doubt about it, that the initial bombings of 1999, for all of you out there, this may seem like ancient history, but 11 years ago, there were massive bombings done in Moscow, where apartment buildings were blown up, Russians were killed, where Putin blamed it on Chechen militants. And in fact, and he rode that, that attack to power, saying he was going to be tough on Islamic fundamentalism, he was going to be tough on Chechen separatists, and this propelled him into office, and from then he's consolidated his dictatorship over Russia. He essentially presides over a gangster state. And what we have found out is that it looks very likely that, in fact, the KGB was behind blowing up those, own, th those Moscow apartments to galvanize public sympathy and support and to present Putin as the strongman. What we've also found out, and Steve is completely right, is that the Russians have been training key al-Qaeda operatives. Why? Because they want to bring America to its knees. Why have the Russians been backing Iran? Why are they selling them missiles? Why are they selling them nuclear technology? Because they want Iran to attack Israel. They want Iran to attack America. They want us embroiled in a war in Afghanistan. They want us embroiled in a protracted fight in the Middle East. They want to bleed America to death. Because Russia, the Russian government, is full of former communists who have never forgiven Ronald Reagan and America for winning the Cold War. That's all that's happening right now. You are now seeing an alliance between the radical left and Islamic fundamentalism. You are seeing it in Russia. You're seeing it here in America. Look how many of these extreme leftists say the problem are conservatives and Tea Party people. Suddenly for James Clyburn, the terrorists are Republicans. But they're never, they're never Islamic radicals. What about peace? 
Islam is supposed to be the religion of peace. That's all we keep hearing. Peace, peace, peace. Now there's 38 more dead, 65 wounded. When are we going to say enough is enough? My friends, we are surrounded by enemies from China to Russia to radical Islam. And our president is running off to Afghanistan for, for, for a PR stunt, for a photo opportunity with the troops. Islam is on the march. They're killing them in Moscow. Now they're aiming to try to kill them here in Washington and in New York. When are we as a nation and a civilization going to stand up and defend our freedoms and liberties? Jeff Kooner, 570 WTNT, the last honest man in Washington.